Hello, everyone. This is Matthew Fraley with BreakpointTrades.com. As you know, we've been bringing you advanced technical analysis, market commentary, trade ideas, and, of course, our famous mechanical trade trading systems like our SPY and ES mean reversion systems. There's 21 of them. And our KISS trend following systems. And that's what I'm going to be doing a video on today. It's not on the general market like I normally do. This is going to be on some of the open system trades. And I'm also going to give you a little look at some of the inner workings and I think you guys will enjoy that. So let's go and get started here. Like I said, we have our 21 mean reversion systems and of course our KISS trend following systems like this, which again, completely opposite reversion to mean systems. Look for markets to get extreme, oversold, indicators to get, you know, and extreme positions. They look for a mean reversion, kind of like a rubber band snapping back. They have high statistics, you know, 80, 90% winning type trades. The KISS trend systems, like you see here, attempt to catch moves in the market, especially the indexes, um, catch long uptrends, provide a constantly raised smart trailing stop that gives you protection and let you avoid drawdowns, usually with drawdowns of one-sixth or more less than general buy and hold. Again, but this video, I'm going to be talking about our 21 mean reversion systems. So here's the systems, the systems that look for longs, trend pullback, QEBTS, pullback, shallow pullback, strong trend, uptrend. That should be pretty self-explanatory. Your market's in a very strong uptrend. You get a pullback where some indicators such as CCI or RSI get a little oversold and you're looking for a bounce. Bear long is a long condition and occurs in bear markets primarily, which we're not in at the moment. We had a lot of those trades last year. Exhaustion bull, exhaustion long bull market. So that's a long that occurs in a bull market. Um, and exhaustion means you've had a big sell-off. It might be after a 10, 20% correction in a bull type market. And then you got the same type of trade, but in a bear market, so it has more stringent conditions. You know, RSI oversold, pretty self-explanatory. The 14 RSI is oversold. There's other parameters, of course. Um, RSI 14 looks for a reversal off the 40% level. Um, with a candle, S-trap long, there's 60 stochastic reversal off 50% long. Remember that on the 60 stochastic, I always talk about that 50% area is a good dividing line between an uptrend and a downtrend. And of course, breakout. Now, breakout isn't exactly a mean reversion. It's just what it sounds. It goes long with price breaking out to new highs or over recent highs. It uses the DVI indicator or ADX indicator, which is, as you know, very good for trending. So then, of course, the short systems. Haven't really had these this year, except early in the year. Had a lot of these last year, QEBTS. Um, similar to the QEBTS long, QE means quantitative edge, if you're wondering. So similar indicators, but it's looking for the reverse. Exhaustion short one and two. I have two versions of it. So what it looks for is the market to be in a very strong uptrend. And again, you've had, these are hard to trigger. You know, you price might have closed consecutively above a five or a nine EMA, you know, 20 or 30 bars, you know, just things are really stretched over sold. So it looks like a, for a mean reversion pullback, high, mid, low, short. Those are shorts that occur primarily in bear market conditions. Here's some various stochastic shorts off these levels that are important for stochastics and that's, that's trap short. So that gives you an example, or that's, this is some of the mean reversion systems. Again, each of these systems are their own system. They're looking for their own thing, okay? Many of you may have, you know, maybe familiar with mean reversion systems from Larry Connors, who, who popularized using an RSI two length. And, you know, if price is above the 200 day moving average, if the RSI 2 falls below 10%, you take a long and then exit over a moving average and then shorts if price is below the 200-day moving average and the RSI 2 gets over 90%. Larry Connor's system on the indexes has around, you know, 75, 80% winning trade. So 
That's a typical mean reversion system that you may be familiar with. And I have similar things here. Sometimes I use different indicators, but um, that's an example of that. But let's take a look at some of these open systems now. So again, this is our KISS trend following type systems. So again, we have all these mean reversion systems, as you can see here. I have the SPY ETF open at the moment. I run the same 21 systems on both SPY and ES futures. Now you're wondering, why do I run, you know, these same systems on both instruments? You know, they're 99% correlated, SPY and ES. They are, but there's still different prices. Indicators will still be in slightly different areas. And you'll see at times that maybe one of the systems may catch a trade on SPY, but it, it misses it on ES, or it catches it on ES, but it misses it on SPY, or they both have the same entry and exits, or another one is maybe they both have the same entries, but you know, it system manages to exit better on one of the, on SPY or e ES. So by having all these individual systems, you get this collective average, you know, systems do have losing trades from time to time. If you're only doing one system like that Larry Connor system I just showed you, I mean, that's all you have is one system. What happens if it, you know, becomes, um, loses its correlation with the market? You're kind of screwed. Well, I kind of went around. My approach to that was doing a shotgun approach. Make I made as many systems as I possibly could. Like I said, I have 21 of these mean reversion systems. And the odds of all of these getting out of sync in the market at the same time is astronomically low. So that's one reason I did it. So what do we have open at the moment? Let's take a look at this. So here's what's open at the moment, both the systems on both SPY and ES. Last week, the bull exhaustion exited on SPY for a very nice trade at a first entry, exited, nice winning trade. Again, bull exhaustion because you know, the, the system still think we're in a bull market at the moment. Um, you know, in that last year where we had the bear market. We have the RSI oversold. Well, let me go to the systems that exited. So bull exhaustion exited. The CCI, this is the CCI divergence. It exited last week as well. It made money. Remember the second entries on our systems, they have potentially three entries. The second entry, the first entry used the one-time ETF. Second entry, we used the two-time ETF. So. SPY, then SSO. If there's a third entry, we use UPRO. So you have leverage on the additional entries, which have higher probability. So this trade here made money, even though the first entry did not because of the leverage on the second entry. So the CCI divergence, by the way, that one looks, and it's a pretty easy one to understand. The CCI indicator, if you're aware of it, you know, typically when it falls way below negative 200, or negative 250, you're very oversold. So it looks at that and then it looks for a positive divergence with price. So it's sort of easy to understand and that's how that works. And uh, those are the two that exited last week. The ones we have open are the RSI oversold. We have RSI oversold on SPY. It actually exited a winning trade early last week and then it went long again, essentially at the lows. We have the QEBTS that's open, first and second entry. And on SPY ES, we have quite a few more systems that are open. We have the RSI oversold, just like on the SPY. We have the trend pullback, which, by the way, is on a third entry. We have bull, bull exhaustion to close last week, just like on SPY. We have the CCI is still open on ES, whereas on SPY it had closed. So that's an example of a difference here. Even though it's the same system, it exited on SPY, but did not on ES futures or MES futures. And we also have the open QE uh, BTS, as you can see. Anyway, let's take a look at the trades this year. So here's the trades for this year. Um, there's been 32 trades that have signals for, um, for the systems for SPY. A lot less than last year. If you were a subscriber to Breakpoint Trades last year, there was almost 100 signals. Why? Because mean reversion systems like volatility. They trigger often. Think about it. In bear markets, prices get more extreme, get out of whack. Things get too stretched away from their moving averages in both directions. So you have a lot more trades. This year hasn't been a bear market, so there's less trades. But still overall nice. 
But last week we had these systems that closed out and the um, here's what's still open, RSI oversold, CCI divergence. Now at the, at the time I'm making this video, here's the open profits, pretty nice profits here across the board. You know, we did have, we did have a losing trade one of the systems, the trend pullback, it stopped out for a losing trade. But again, that's why we do more than one system, guys. Because if you only did this system, you would have lost money, and if you know you would have missed on these profits on the other ones. So that's a real time example of that. And as far as ES, the systems have have triggered more on ES than they have on SPY. So here's the ES trades for this year. There's 38, so quite a bit more more than SPY. And you can see we have quite a bit more open trade still. The trades that did close out made nice money. RSI oversold, closed out with a $1,600 profit last week. First entry was, you know, almost flat, quite honestly, 80 bucks. Um, $1,400 for the CCI, 940 for a first and second entry. And, uh, well, that's that one's still open. Bull exhaustion, nice gain, nice. And uh, the QEBTS, which is open. But you can see these these nice gains, 4,000, 1,600, 1,400, 1,600, 1,300. Very nice gains here, and you can see the gains for the year. Again, you can see how I trade the systems here. First entry, I'll typically use two MES contracts. Remember, MES is the micro contract for ES. It's one-tenth the value. So first, second, third entry, I'll do either two, four, six, like here, or sometimes I'll do a half position, one, two, three. So you get the same leverage and effect as the ETFs. But guys, Breakpoint Trade membership is $300 for six months, 600 bucks a year, essentially. If you think about it, I mean, these trades would pay for your subscription, you know, for 10 plus years, well, more than that, really, 20 years. So it's a no brainer to have a Breakpoint Trades membership, even if you just do this. And of course, then you get all of our other analysis. But Let's take a look at some of these systems here. You can see some of the stats. So here's the CCI system that had closed out on SPY. Let's take a look at some of the trade statistics. So here's the trade statistics for the CCI system. Profit factor of 5670. Remember, a profit factor on a system of two or three is considered good. So that's 56. 93.75% um, winning trades, 80 trades over 35 years since 1995, uh, 96, I think. And uh, 46 consecutive winning, two consecutive losing. Time analysis. This is one of the shorter system trades, average of four days, 14 hours, roughly four and a half days. So fairly short-term trade, but highly profitable. Um, bull exhaustion which closed out. Let's take a look at that one. Trade station's being a little slow for me here as the market is currently open. Profit factor 3480, almost 90% winning trades. Not a lot of trades, but again, it's it's a very tough um, statistic to, hint, to enter. So it doesn't trigger very often, but it's very high probability. There's a look at the profit curve. By the way, let's look at the profit curve on that CCI system. We forgot to take a look at that. More trades on that, so you can see a very nice profit curve. Um, I'm going to look at a couple other of these. Here's the CCI divergent system on EMES futures. You can see actually quite a bit better statistics on ES than SPY. Well, 140 profit factor, that's pretty insane. 97% winning trades, 67 total trades. Um, looking at the profit curve, here's the profit curve on that. Very excellent. So anyway, let's go back. I want to talk about a few other things. So again, nice, nice trades closed out last week, locked in some nice gains, but we still have quite a few open trades. What are some of these systems looking now to exit? So what's, what I want to show you is some of these systems like the QEBTS here and the RSI oversold have triggered a trend hold condition. So basically they already got their mean reversion, but they're actually looking for more. A trend hold condition 
kicked in and now they're holding by that. And I want to show you a little inner workings on that. So let's pull up this other workspace. So I'm going to show you a little secret sauce here, guys. Again, I'm not worried about anyone copying these. There's a lot with these systems. but So here's the QEBTS on SPY. And here's a couple examples. You can see, this is just an example in the past, but you can see it had a first and second entry. It caught a mean reversion. It exited. Then it entered again, same mean reversion, but it continued to hold. And it caught basically a three-month trade, like a 20 25% winner here. How did it do that? Why did it do that? So first off, it got its entries by its normal triggers. Like I said, you know, typical mean reversion. And then the systems, they look for, they're, look, they have multiple parts to them, kind of like a, kind of like a relay race where you have multiple runners that pass the batons off to each other. So as they hit their marks, so that's the same thing here. So it got its mean reversion here and then it exited because it, when it gets its mean reversion, it then looks at this indicator and if it's red, it goes ahead and, and exits. Okay. It just says, let's exit. And that was a good choice. It entered here. It gets a mean reversion move back above a short term move and average. And then it says, do we hold or exit? Well, the momentum indicator was green. So it held, see that? So hold held by this. Now the momentum indicator turned red here. So it could have exited here, but the system has yet a third relay race where it hands, it can hand the baton off and that's what happened. So it looks, it then looks at the 34 stochastics, 34 is a fib number. So the condition is if the stochastic was oversold while the trade was first entered, if it's held long enough with the momentum hold condition that the 34 stochastic gets over 80%, it then hands the baton off to that. And then it holds the trade until the 34 stochastics falls below um, 80%, which is right here, and then it exits on the next day. So you see how that works? It's kind of like a one, two, three method. So that's how the system is able to catch mean reversion and some of these trend pullback, these really good trending type systems based on the combination of these indicators. Here's the RSI oversold and it uses a similar method as well. It went long here. And now this one here, it simply held the trade by the momentum until it exited. All right. But what's cool is some of these open system trades that we have now, the QEBTS, remember this is open on both SPY and ES. So we got our first and second entries. We got a mean reversion here. It's still holding. Can you guess why? The momentum indicator is green. It'll exit when this turns red. Now, if it manages to hold this long enough that this 34 stochastic gets over 80%, by the time this turns red, it'll then switch to that. If this turns red before this gets over 80, then it will simply exit. But that's an example of a trend hold condition that is triggered. And I hope you guys, it gives you guys some more confidence and, you know, just information on the systems. Again, if you're not a subscriber to Breakpoint Trades, please consider subscribing. Our prices are excellent. We have a lot more here than just these systems. We have amazing technical analysis. We give a handful of tra actionable trade ideas every week. So we cover the indexes, we cover the commodities, and of course systems. All right, guys, that'll do it. And Hope you all have a good day and congrats to those of you who have done these, who entered these mean reversion systems over the last week. Um, you're now being rewarded. Have a great day. Take care.